I know a lot of you guys have trouble taking tapers way too high, especially the more hair that's on top. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a high taper, but keep the weight, keep the length on top. You guys see we got JT in the chair. He's got quite a bit of hair on top. We wanna leave the weight, but we wanna do a high taper underneath. I'm gonna show you guys how to preserve that weight and not get into it and take it too high. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video and get to it. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is come in and start our ball guideline at the bottom of his vertical bar. Go ahead and punch that in. We're gonna ball out everything down to the top of his beard. Come in with the shaver, get it down to skin, and we'll start our first step going up. All right, so you guys can kind of see where the weight is right now. It's a little heavy behind the ears, so we're gonna clean that up. But ideally, we want our fade to fit in this space that you guys can see. So we are gonna condense our guidelines a little bit. I'm gonna go up probably just about a half inch, not really like my full three quarter inch, maybe even a little bit under the half inch. You guys can see nice clean guideline. We'll go ahead and work these guidelines out at the bottom. I feel like the open section is something that's super important because you can really see every piece of stubble that's left, every follicle that's left if it's not clean. And once we get to the larger guards, it is a little bit easier to blend in. Well, Immediately close it up. I'm gonna use the corner of my clipper. We're gonna use the corner a lot more on this because we really wanna blend the hair without affecting it too much. So we're not gonna do as harsh of guidelines. Now half open, but we're gonna try to just kinda go from this first section up into the length that we have above without kinda hurting it and cutting off too much. And that's what's difficult. If you guys do your sections real big and then you get a little loose when you're blending that out, next thing you know, this hair up here has been cut off and then we have to cut everything around this whole head. So we really don't wanna do that. We just wanna do the taper. We're just gonna keep everything a little bit tighter. Now we're gonna do a real loose open one section. Again, if I can blend into what's above, I'm gonna try to. So a little bit less of a harsh guideline here as compared to some of the haircuts that I do. And after we do the one, we'll just kind of blend up into it. You guys can see that really doesn't look bad. So a little bit more finesse than normal, a little bit less harsh guideline. But like I said, he is a little bit overly heavy and weighted. So we are gonna take that a little bit. You guys can see there's our one. Now I can close it. There's just like a spot here, spot here, spot here. I'm gonna close it to like the second notch because I don't wanna be too harsh. Corner of the clipper. You guys can see that looks pretty good. Honestly, even above that looks pretty good. So we don't have a ton of work to do. So you guys just need to slow down, be more precise, pay attention to what you're doing. I see some people cutting like this and just throwing the clipper around. And that's a really quick, easy way to go too high. And that's kind of what we're talking about in this video. So be disciplined, stay where you're supposed to be, smaller, precise strokes. You guys don't need to be all over the place. And you can see that's almost passable already. So now I'm gonna basically start at the top of the weight line. You guys can see it's kind of heavy here, but then it's longer here. There's like a little wedge of hair here. So we just wanna even that up. I'm just kind of going to visualize to here. We're going to go in with our four and now we really don't want to see a guideline. So I'm really blending out and if we need to, we can come in with scissor over comb or thinning shear over comb. We can clean this up, but ideally we can come through it with our four guard and kind of get it done the way that we're wanting. So I'm not expecting this to blend down to this line. We're going to work our way down after we use the four. We'll go to a three, then a two all the way down until we're happy with how this section looks. As you guys may notice, I'm using a comb. That's because this hair is so long. I want it to comb out. I want it to lay where I want so I can cut against it. And when I use a brush, it's just not gonna really do that. You see, it just kind of pushes it around. So we wanna use a comb with these bigger guards. When we get back to this kind of open one section, one and a half, we can go back to our brush. So you see where we did the four. Now we're gonna come in with the number three, all the way closed. You see I have the clipper tilted on this side and I'm just coming through. Like I see a spot there, a spot there, a little bit dark here. And again, we don't wanna see a guideline. We just wanna slowly soften up this transition down to the open one that we did. So you can see that's already doing it. This hair behind the ear, I'm gonna tackle a different way and I'll show you guys when we get there. But right now I'm just working on getting this transition down and you can see it looks pretty good already. So you guys heard me say, you know, if you get into the hair behind the ear too much, then we have to cut the whole side of the head. And I've definitely done that before on JT. So you go in to do just a taper, you don't wanna cut everything. And next thing you know, you gotta cut the sides and then the weight's not right and you gotta cut the top. And so you guys just wanna be really careful. We're using the corner, we're cutting only the spots that we want, we're not looking to see anything except this softening up and starting to look better. Now we're in with the number two close. And after this, I'll probably switch to my brush. You guys can see I can still comb this hair around. So number two close, softening it up. It's looking better. I can go open. I see this is a little long right here, so I'm gonna open it up. And it's all about just being careful, opening and closing, adjusting as needed until you get the section looking how you want. And like I said, I have gotten way too high on JT's taper before and had to do a whole haircut. Kind of what made me think of this video topic today and hopefully you guys learned something from it. So, all right, now we're down to the one and a half. You can see we still have like basically this whole finger width right here looks the same. That's 
where we have to transition down to this down here. So one and a half, this babyless guard all the way closed is the sweet spot. So I'm gonna start up here. Again, corner of the clipper. We're transitioning down to that open one. So we really shouldn't see anything crazy. And one thing about once you work your way up and then start to fade down, you can kind of work the bald area up into the taper. So we get the long part handled and then we can kind of adjust our shorter part and take it a little bit higher. That's kind of what makes it look like really a high taper and gives it that little bit of a burst look. Now back to the open one. Again, now we're right underneath the one and a half. Basically the same as how you guys would detail a haircut. If you guys didn't see my detailing video, check that out. It's super hard to break down, but I wanted to show you guys the best that I could. So make sure you guys check that out. Now we're in with it closed. You guys can see pretty much transition. I'm gonna go half open. I got a spot right here. And we're pretty much all the way down to our half guard and then we'll be done with this side. All right, now we're in with a half, half open. And all we're looking at is this dark area right here between the open section and the one. And I could have done that earlier, but like I was just saying, this gives me an opportunity to work this bald area a little bit higher. You can see now we're able to kind of fade up underneath and add to the arch of our taper. I'm just being real careful now because we got it pretty much finished. You see it's coming together, looking smooth, still using the corner. Adjust the lever if you need to. Now I'm gonna go closed in this last little shadow right here. And if we need to go back to our open clipper, we can. You guys just wanna keep working down until you're happy with how it looks. Now what I want to do is just soften up some of this where you can see it's a little bit heavy. So I'm coming in, thinning shear over comb. I just want to cut the tips of the hair. I don't want to cut up in the hair. It's going to make it stick out. So I'm coming under. And I just want to hit the tips of the hair just a little bit, combing back down. We'll come back here to where it's dark. Again, get under the hair, pull out. Use your comb to pull the hairs that you want. Hit the tips of it. You can see it's softening it up. And this hair is long enough. We can really shear over comb from this point out. So you can use your shears if you're comfortable with them. Thinning shears if you want. But we're just trying to lighten up anything that looks a little bit dark. And we don't have to risk coming in with a guard and taking this taper too high. So just a little bit of this and we'll be done with this side. We'll move on to the other side and then we'll move on to the back taper. All right guys, we're moving on to the back taper. You can see I did it last time. We put a little part in the side, tapered underneath it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that back in because it's so high that if I kind of try to blend it out, again, we're gonna get into cutting all of his hair. So I'm gonna start off by putting that line in. Then we'll do a ball guideline. We're gonna pack the taper really low, same as the front. So you guys follow along. I'll put the guards down below and then we'll style it and check out the finished product. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the lineup. If you look closely, you can see where the actual lineup is, where the hair is overhanging. So we're gonna cut a bunch of hair off, but it's all kind of, I always call it bangs. Obviously bangs are in the front, but that's all overhanging. So I'm gonna start down here where I can see his natural line and get it started and work up. And we're just gonna take off all that overhang. So we're not pushing him back. We're taking off overhang. You can see it's moving out of the way as I try to cut it. Just gonna keep combing it down. I'm gonna go against the way the hair is growing. So I'm gonna scoop this way my middle finger on his cheek up front by his beard so that I can pivot it around the ear. And you see, we start to get a nice clean line. This is probably gonna be one of those examples where no matter how I comb it, I can get some hair to hang over. So we just wanna get it as good as we can. We don't wanna chase this to be like absolutely perfect because there's still gonna always be hairs that'll come over it. So we just wanna be careful, work our way up, and then we'll work up over the front of the ear. Do the same thing on the other side. Throw a little product in here. You guys can check it out.
All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope it was helpful. You see we left plenty of weight on here. We didn't really get into the top at all. Nice little taper with a design on the bottom. He has a super difficult growth pattern. If you guys didn't notice while we were tapering it, it turned out pretty nice. We had to pack it really tight. We maintained all the weight on top. Basically just packed that taper right in underneath and got a nice clean high taper. Nice little cleanup for JT. If you guys found it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see another haircut on JT, I've done some crazy ones. Click right there and check that one.